Yeah. Did you win? Eight. Nice. So yeah, we got another slot machine. This is one of the Chinese one. There is not a key, but there are coins. Um, you can go in, me going through the back. Make sure you unplug it first, and then there's a latch where you can open up the open up the back. So, um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's go look at this stuff real quick. These are awesome. I mean, these have got to be original old Barbies. Ooh, barcode. With the boxes. That's like a lot. A lot of classic, classic stuff there. Very positive. So yeah, a lot of cool stuff there. Then if we walk over here, not a crazy amount of stuff on here, but there's some jewelry. Um, there's some miscellaneous stuff in there. That is a Artler, oh that that's the clarinet. The flute, director set, there's a little motor in there. Nice and clean. Like a muskrat hat. Some more jewelry, little things, not a bunch here, so we'll make up some time. Or won't take much time. And these are cool little pictures. Here's an Italian Gardens book. Remember that delicious place? Signed by the DeCapos, I believe. Um, then there are three necklaces on there, like fetish necklace and some more cool stuff. Um, that's uh, Le Colter uh, Future Matic. Um, Goldfield, you know, needs work, obviously. There is a, uh, uh, how do you say, Bucher, Bucher chromatic watch in there. There's some other watches, some knives. Not a whole lot of stuff in there, so that's pretty good. Here are some Kansas City stuff, I guess. Some more old pictures. That little dude there with his little, mm. little shotgun. Box of military photos. Homer and Mo playing pool. And then check this out. What? It's about 300 troy ounces of sterling silver. Um. Yeah, sterling. This one's Tiffany marked. I mean, I don't really know what else to say except a bunch of freaking sterling. Of course, these are just the handles, but uh, a lot of freaking sterling, man. Woo! A lot of gorum, silver, gold ham. Um, there's another another sterling. That's a different signer. That's an ebony clarinet. So since ebony, you can't really get ebony anymore, people like to buy those, may use them for inlay on tables and stuff, optics. So I'm gonna run behind and grab this. Got there's more sterling in here. And then this. Oh man, I don't have my glasses. Oh wait, I have a broken pair. Can you read it? How'd that happen? Oh, you just occupational hazard. Presented to Marco Wilson on the laying the foundation stone of the new vestry of 
Washley Parish Church, July 1900. Little trowel or whatever there, nicely English silver mark. And then they presented it to someone else in the 50s. When you grab it again, so that is really cool. cool. Um, it's like some magazines and some other things in there. Then this stuff here. Um, well, coming back to the land. Big kettle. That's pretty cool. Marquee guitar by Harmony. Hats, I guess. Um, some of that little stuff. These glasses are Dorothy Thorpe design. Nice mid century set. A couple of nice etched uh, lights, lamps. Really nice uh, Seth Thomas, I think, clock. And all that Pyrex there. That's a lot of Pyrex. <coughs> Mickey Mantle, kind of hologram display, 500 home run. A bunch of old radios. Looks like an old goose decoy. And then those neat. Uh, Retro advertising pieces. Oh man, not a lot up here either. So, There's a trucking line maybe. Tyreek Hill. Another Chiefs thing maybe. Uh -huh. So, oddly, nothing over here. But that's okay. Get to switch stuff up. Nice things. This. this was a Kansas City artist. Knots, K N O T T S, I think. Then here's uh, what's it, what's it called, Spangler. Then this uh, Vanity Fair. Those are desirable, cool, kind of mid-century tapestry thing. A lot of cool stuff over here. Little globe, nice little uh, set with the freaking tank steer on there. Uh, Francoma monkey on there some wooden bowls and stuff uh spice bottles sure just some vintage vintage stuff kind of cool um and then so after we get done selling the stuff up front we're gonna jump over here and we've got this freaking ping pong table this mirror that i don't think goes with the bar because it seems a different type of wood but then check this bar out the consigner reported that it came from uh, Hotel Mulebach whether that's true or not I don't know but it definitely fits the time period and all that neat old cool bar back bar I guess is what that would be um, and then I think those shelves, they, they fit onto it somehow. You couldn't really figure it out. and um, didn't really try, actually, because I don't want to mess anything up. Uh, look at all that sterling. Look at that. No! Look at it. Treasure. This is true urban mining. Love it. Love it. Um, let's see. Want to do this again? Sure.
Oh, come on. <gasps> that's oh, good. Man. That's better. Seems like that would win you something. I'm really good at gambling, usually. And the knees again. Oh, that's so cool. Um, there's more of those to come, I believe. So then we'll go over here. Um, more of our stuff from number three. Oh. That house we've been talking about that we've gone to. We're going back one more time. Um, it's just full of cool stuff. Nice Brookside house. Someone lived in for 60 years, 70 years, something, something like that. Um, I mean, like Kansas City piece that I have no idea what it means, but I mean, River Quay, who, who's called it that in a long time? For, that used to be uh, River Market, is what they used to call it. Isn't it River Key? Key? River Key, yeah, yeah. So. That's okay. River Key, yeah. That is, um, Words are hard. Oh, man. All right, let's start over. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's I'm not kidding. hot or anything. <laughs> Oh, River Quay, jeez. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just bleep it out. Can you? I could. Will I? So, we've got um, <clears throat> more glassware and more cool stuff over here. And then the floor is uh, just, they're filled up with bins. Um, you know, sometimes uh, stuff doesn't sell, it's on the table, so we're kind of, we, we've got a plan. We're putting a lot of stuff in the tubs after that. I'm sure that's not freaking sterling. Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry about me, guys. Is it? Nope. But you never know, maybe you'll find something in there I would think I'd look through it, but sometimes it doesn't happen. Cool Chiefs banner, some caps, been really popular. And a lot of Chiefs, vintage Chiefs jackets and such. Yeah. Uh, oh, Hi. sorry. And vintage Chiefs and Royals caps, all spread out like that. We'll see what happens with that. Um... Then uh, here's another side of cheap stuff. Looks pretty cool. Um, and this is, I'm hoping, all silver plate. But there's some good patterns. A lot of these are like, <coughs> excuse me, awards, Crestwood uh, racket invitationals, 1967, ladies doubles, runner up. A lot of them are, are like that. Then there's some uh, China and more silver plate. This is Cuthbertson for the most part of uh, British made Christmas stuff. Then this is, I thought that was pretty cool. I don't know if you can tell, like that's 3D. Um, then more, uh, those are Italian. Um, I forget the names of all of everything. There's some cool stuff. I, I wonder if there's some sterling in that, honestly. But there it is. This is freaking cool. This hand turned. Oh, hmm. check it out. What's it say? Custom bowls by Royce Weaver. Box Elder Burl. Natural edge. Sure. Uh, then over here on the shelves. So here we are. Um, this stuff got moved around. Looks like some old flow blue in there, which is nice, and some books. Not too crazy over here, but some good stuff. Um, wow, yeah, <gasps> look, nothing on these shelves. I'm not sure what's up. It's kind of a weird week setting up. So, some outdoor furniture, some stools, some of this, then uh, big tubs, tubs of stuff. Uh, you might recognize, say, hey, I think, I think that was, uh, nice. That is kind of cool. I think that was on there in last week's auction. But yeah, maybe it went from the table to a tub. And then to the trash. 
really neat stuff over here. This should do good. Big, big box of shelves like that. Some hats. Some music stuff. It's Ringo. Restaurant. Ringo. Oh, that's probably pretty cool. Oh man, this that's gonna be some neat stuff in there. Oh, fan club stuff from the 60s. Huh. More tubs on the floor. Couldn't and then furniture. we jump back here. Hey, look, it's this thing. <laughs> She's part benchmark. It's big. It can be yours. And back behind it, we switched to number one over there. So that's two pieces that would sit on top of that. Hey, sorry. Hi, Frank. Hmm. Mm. That okay. is a really cool piece. Really, really cool. You want to go back up? Yeah. Okay. Ah. I don't think it's supposed to be very hot on Thursday. Right. I don't know. When you work on it, in it all day long, it's not. So, some bolted chairs, that old scale there. Oak table and some chairs, some ladders, fiberglass ladders. Uh, the sewing machine, uh, wine cask, that's pretty cool, that's a little Bud Light bar table, just some little things scattered through there. Um, Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm exercising. Okay, well, we're making a video. These are freaking nice. And they're expensive. And they get tangled up easily. But they're, you know, stakes for like bandit signs and stuff. But look how thick these are. Like, usually these things just snap. I know. I want a box of those. I should have asked them when you dropped them off. I could have a box of them. It's like we got some choice boxes of stuff here. Some, it's like a leaf thing for the lawnmower, sprayer. All this. It's like we're switching to nine over here. Dang. I was like, oh, a freaking case of Henny? Dang. Nope. Just the bottle. Um, so we got stuff on here. I guess I'm not really familiar. Pretty cool. No, we didn't get this stuff. Um, oh yeah. So kind of a map cabinet, blueprint cabinet, like plantation desk kind of thing. That ought to do really well. Uh, spoon carved, oak, uh, credenza, buffet, whatever. No mirror there. Um, Just the other half of it. Bar and wash stand and um, this cool wardrobe, very unique, little cabinet there, really cool old furniture. Um, and over here there's some uh, like fern tables or whatever you call them, side tables. Uh, up on the table there, a little French provincial side table. Uh, I don't know, crafting magazines, more old dolls. Somebody's insurance company paid a lot of freaking money for that. Mm. I guarantee you. Um, more doll stuff. I like the way you did all this. This guy, jeez. That's a box. That's unreal. More Barbies and stuff like that. Huh. Okay. Um, then this little shop over here. Smart work can 
stuff, some old china could be could be something really nice. It is old. Um, there's Frank, hard at work. Hello. Getting ready to recycle the metal. <laughs> um, then over here, really cool. A lot of nice old concrete yard stuff. I expect this stuff to do well, but so weird to just never can't tell. Um, then over here, there's this is switching. It's a lot by itself. Number twelve. This futon um, wasn't hardly ever used, as I understand it. That's kind of cool. A little reproduction bell for the yard. There, more concrete, more yard stuff. That's probably a fold-out picnic table there. Some fishing stuff. Some Pullman type stoves. Probably gonna have to find yourself a power supply. Some artwork. Um, Where do you want to go? Well, let's just go right here, I guess. So, some panoramic photos, World War One guys, some sort of big gathering and such. Um, posters, a posters, a kiss. I like that stuff so far. Um, PBR uh, has a broken, broken freaking tube on it. That's too bad. If you can get that fixed, that's a killer piece. Michelob sign, Air Force flag, some artwork, like a door to a cabinet. Sometimes. That was really old. I mean, some, if you have one of those cabinets that needs that kind of door, you are going to have a hard freaking time finding mm. one. And here is one. There's a lady. There's a stoplight. Pretty cool. Get that wired up pretty easy, I would think. Want to just keep going on the wall? I think so, yeah. Okay, not a lot on the wall either. Glove charge pennant, Raiders pennant, some sports stuff. Um, neat old photos. No, that wasn't a real baby signature there. Oh, it's weird to see a picture that old with people freaking smiling. Hmm. Butler Manufacturing. Needle and stuff there. Those look like t shirt transfers, maybe. Cool. Uh, that's old. Uh, I want to walk back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let's see. Bless. Bless. Excuse me. More, uh, I don't know, glass and. Christmas looking stuff and some electronics and what the hell is this? Hmm. That kind of speaks for itself. What's here on the table? Sports cards, photo stuff, um, non-sports cards than this, uh, sadly. So that uh, Swan uh, shortwave receiver, here's its power supply. We <laughs> sold it last week. But, I mean, don't get mad at us. If this stuff comes in, it's on different pallets. Um, so... I know somebody bought that last week that's watching the video. So sorry about that, but 
That's how it happens sometimes. Like we'll, you know, unpack some china, obviously vinyl records, pack some good stuff. We'll unpack a bunch of china. You know, it's like at the beginning of the truck that they packed, and then all the way at the back of the truck is the rest of that china, and we're just not set up to just put it to the side just to see if more comes out. So if we turn and burn up in here. Right. Uh, train stuff, camera stuff, a fax, phone, and copier. What's that? Um, it's something from when you were like six. Mm -hmm. oh. Hey, that's good stuff over here. Oh, it's getting cold in here. And over here, yeah, there could be, true, could be some stuff, stuff in here. <laughs> Community. <laughs> That's probably Fenton. That's probably Fenton. Aww. This is, I know it, Nortaki. It does not have the pattern on there. Kind of nice. It's kind of a neat little thing. Ah, Theodore Haviland. Leavenworth, Kansas. CL Knapp and Company, made in Leavenworth, Kansas. So this stuff. Neat. This stuff should do pretty good. Uh, or made for someone in Leavenworth, Kansas, I believe is how it goes. I think we had some pretty Kansas cool. City to have one stuff that like went crazy one time. It's hard to say. It all just kind of blurs in one big auction. Looks like some what Dark darkroom stuff. Is there is there a quay in there? Yeah, there's a few quays. Can I get your the quays to your car? Oh. Stamps. That took me a second. It's okay. You think Vaughn's gonna get this? Um, I do think. Oh, no, caffeine free Vaughn. Mm. Not, not interested. No, thank you. Vaughn was pretty convinced that uh, Mountain Dew and Bush Light cured COVID. Right, and which they do. And to his point, he's a healthy dude. But they're not supplements for water, which Vaughn's he seems like to believe. Vaughn's like 87 years old. I thought he's 97. This is neat. Alright, cool stuff all the way through this auction. Beer and beer. I don't think we'll be here that long. Maybe. I mean, it's been 9.30 recently. I don't like. I like it to be longer. But. You know, we're kind of making little shorter auctions. In That's kind of cool. Hmm. Well, that is cool. A little strawberry hill piece. Sure. Oh my god. These are nice. But they're little handmade doll furniture. Anyway, yeah, that's what's in there. Um, I believe that's Marine Corps. This stuff, Coca Cola, Coca Cola, Coca Cola. Um, then here we've got um, some NES games. There's some Sega Genesis games. There's some Nintendo 64 games. I think that's a Nintendo 64 system, Genesis system, Xbox games. I believe these are Model T or Model uh, A lights, maybe. I don't know. Maybe later than that. Um, Run some fun caps and stuff. That's like probably pretty old Boy Scout piece there. And that'll bring us to the end of our evening, folks. So um, thank you very much. Always good to see you. And uh, come out on Thursday.